small firms, I think some examples here might help. For example, if we receive information about a client who's having problems in contacting a CNA within a firm, maybe we've had more than one client who said this. In the past, our approach might have been to write to you and raise those concerns in a formal letter, and we would therefore have been looking for you to respond to us formally in writing. There may be times when we might still need to be this formal, but in this example I've just given, we would want to telephone the firm. We'd be looking to try and ascertain what the issues actually might be. We might email you with the queries we have. We want to engage with you about the matter. So this could include, in this example, asking you about the follow-up contact that you had with those clients, asking you whether those clients were then satisfied, asking you whether there were any lessons you could learn from the experience, and again, if necessary, we'll report you towards useful information on our website. For themed risk, for example, we may want to take a closer look at newly established firms. Perhaps you might want to concentrate on looking at how new firms set up the processes and controls that they need to manage their own risks. So we could look at how, in certain firms, the calls and the proper roles would be carried out. I hope you found that helpful. And I think, Nikki, we now have a second polling question at this point. Yes, thanks, Karen. Yes, indeed we do. And it should just be coming up on your screen now. Um, do you intend to change from being a sole practitioner to become a partnership, LLP, incorporated practice, or ABS within the next six to 12 months? So it would be very grateful if you could indicate what, to, what your plans might be. And the answers are coming in now. Um, and yes, there's quite a lot of activity there. Um, they're, still, they're still coming in. I think that they stabilise. I think, yeah, 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 I think they are. Right, well, the result, 61% um, are saying that no, they don't have any intention of changing business model at the moment. And after that, the, the next type is 21% don't know. Um, and the next type is 80% um, think they might want to maybe go into partnership, and 5% um, and are considering becoming an ABS, and 3% um, an incorporated practice. Well, that's very interesting. Well, well thank you. Thank you all very, very, very much. That, that, that's very useful. So going back to the consultation, if you went into deadline, um, Cam, it's the 8th of March, and um, it, we really do encourage responses. We, we do want to hear from you, and particularly um, on, the, the, on our impact assessment.